Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vilo Vilo Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Vancouver, Canada's mighty conqueror, war cult supremacy on nuclear war now. Hell fucking yeah. Ross Bay cult eternal. So goddamn good. And uh, we're going to be diving in today to one of my favorite over the past year, I, I was very, very late to the Black Solis Portuguese black metal party. But I am beyond impressed with this dude's discography. But before I get into that, I have a gift for you guys. Um, this is kind of stupid as well. But um, I was going through... Uh, <laughs> not even going through. I was listening to Gruesome's Dimensions of Horror last night. And I went to get the lyric sheet out, and a little piece of paper fell out. And I was like, huh, what's this? Idiotically, it's the fucking download code. So press pause and snag some killer death worship. But I just thought that was funny. It's like I've had this album for almost two years, and I never knew there was a download code inside of it. So, good shit. But, um... Yeah, today I want to talk about Black Solis's 2011 release, A Corpse, A Temple. Holy fucking shit. This is number 89 out of 300. Just, oh my god, so fucking grim, amazing, amazing, raw as fuck. One man black metal. And pretty sure that... This dude's in the necromancy and stuff, like, it's cool as fuck, like, a corpse of temple is dedicated to Portuguese black magic, to those who damn their souls summoning the dead to fulfill their will of chaos and evil. Fucking awesome stuff, and to me that artwork is iconic. Like, yeah, it reminds me of Transylvanian Hunger, and yes, it might be a little knockoff of Transylvanian Hunger and those early Dark Throne albums. But to me, this speaks volumes. Literally, this is like, I don't know. It tells me already, just by looking at it, that I'm getting into something special, minimalistic, raw, primitive, and just fucking grim. Just based on the cover and just the fucking vinyl alone. Like, with tracks like... The Gate of Sulphur, Night's Veil, Blood to Murder, The Key, Resurrection of Dead Curses, and Among Dead Rats. Just fucking great stuff. And as always, with Black Solis releases, you get a nice threat. But, um, I'm not gonna read you all this, but it's about, like, you know, black magic and stuff. It's pretty fucking sick. The world is a corpse, and all light shall be faded for new order's arrival. But uh, if you own this for anything else than black metal worship, you should fuck off. If you don't need this anymore, destroy it. <laughs> it's fucking sick. But what's really sick are the tunes on here. Seriously, some fucking pure, grim, raw as fuck black metal fire from Portugal. Like, I don't even know how to describe this other than it sounds alien, just like his other records as well. But here, I feel like the riffs are a little more audible the first listen through. Where, like, an album such as Mysteries, it took me a couple of listens to start finding riffs that I really, really was into and you know really helped bring me into the song because i was like waiting for these riffs to come up and on here they're just right in your face and fucking sound amazing like the atmosphere and just the vicious buzzsaw sound of the production that doesn't let up it's awesome it's just a relentless fucking onslaught of true black metal and I'm not saying true with like a V and stuff. Like it's really, you know, 
This dude means every single fucking word that he's howling out. Like, he doesn't even sound human whatsoever. It sounds like a force of literal nature when it comes to the vocals on here. And even, like, the drumming, the guitars, everything is just not a clusterfuck. It's a cluster, but it's a cluster of, like, actual emotion, an actual atmosphere, not just for the sake of, you know, oh, uh, it's, you know, some vicious raw black metal with some, you know, atmospheric parts. This is just straight up raw as fuck black metal where the fucking atmosphere is the production. And if that doesn't make sense to you, just look at those early Burzum releases. That's the best example I can think of off the top of my head right now is just like that less is more kind of like listen to Burzum Ashes EP and just listen to that like buzz and that's the product like that's all from the production and that buzz to me outside of the riffs is what makes something like that you know special and where some people are like what the fuck are you listening to like this sounds like a like a goddamn mess you have to sit them down and be like look like this is you know some of the gnarliest black metal that's been recorded in recent you know years and it's not your run-of-the-mill like swedish inspired black metal or even you know like any sort of melody. This is totally void of anything but sorrow, misery, and just fucking evil. And it's great. Like, I, it literally is fucking great. I, I love every single thing about this record, especially the final track on here, Among Dead Rats. Oh my fucking god, what a good song and also resurrection of dead curses the b-side on here is a monster and also blood the murder track three amazing amazing stuff and just another killer release from black Solis. that rhymed i didn't mean it to but yeah a corpse of temple is some serious fire on iron bonehead records and if you dig his other material, you are gonna love this. Because I um, kind of jumped around. Like, I picked up his new record first. Then I got Mysteries. Then I got this. And I'm currently looking for the 7-inch. And um, Summoning and stuff. Which is gonna be a pain in the balls. Because, yeah. Money's kind of tight right now, but... I'm glad I have Black Solis, the Corpse of Temple, to help me get through this winter. And again, this is one of those records that came into my life at a really, you know, gnarly time. And it spoke volumes to me the first listen and every single listen since. And it just gets better and better. It's one of those bands where you really need to spend time with the record and you really, really need to pay attention. And if you do that, and you really, really, you know, soak in what Black Solis delivers, you'll realize how special this record really is. And Black Solis, A Corpse of Temple, just some amazing stuff, and I can't recommend this enough for all you black metal fans out there, especially if you like your black metal sounding like it was recorded inside of a fucking laundry machine. And it's awesome, though. But, yeah, Corpse of Temple, Portuguese black metal from Black Solis. Amazing stuff from 2011 on Iron Bonehead Records. And this is number 89 out of 300. And, yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. I snagged it from Hell's Headbangers. And, uh... Here's the rest of my Black Solis discography. It's not everything, but hopefully eventually I have everything he's put out. But 
Here is Mysteries. Mysteries is fucking great. Again, I have number 70 out of 300. And another Hell's Headbangers pickup. Or this might have been 20 bucks spin, I forget. But again, to me, iconic as fuck artwork. And I like how each of his full lengths has six tracks to it. It's just fucking cool as shit. And there's not too gnarly of a threat here. Nothing is random, everything has a purpose, everything has a meaning, but the mysteries are not to be revealed, and mysteries is dedicated to Portuguese black magic. To those who damn their souls summoning the dead to fulfill their will of chaos and evil, yet again. And this is on red vinyl, and... Lastly, I have the 2017 release, which was my black metal record of the year. Because it's so fucking good, seriously. From the artwork, to the fucking riffs, to the production, it's just everything I love about Black Solis, just so fucking good. Banished from time, amazing, amazing stuff. And you get another amazing threat in here. Uh... Keep this record to yourself. If you fail to understand this, the war is also against you. This record, if this record doesn't mean anything to you anymore, just destroy it. So we get that again, and an amazing photo of the dude. I was talking to my buddy in Portugal. Nobody knows anything about this project. I'm pretty sure there's an interview out there, but I've yet to see it, but... This is on blue vinyl, and I just love the fucking artwork on here. It's just sick looking. And, uh, yeah, that's what I have so far from Black Solise. I need the last 7 inch, and I need summoning really bad, because I really, really caught the Black Solise bug. And, yeah, I love this shit. I love raw black metal, and I love when it's done fucking right. And Black Solis just, boom, so fucking good. And, uh, yeah, we've been blasting some Conqueror and discussing some one-man Portuguese black metal that I hope you check out and enjoy. But if you're a fan of war metal, revenge especially, get into some Conqueror, war cult supremacy, and, yeah, enjoy the fuck out of it. Vicious, vicious fucking war black death whatever you want to call it and this double disc is sick as well you got like a sarcophago cover and just a bunch of badass stuff but yeah awesome shit on nuclear war now and uh yeah when it comes to black solis i really really love a corpse of temple uh banish from time is currently my favorite but the more and more I spin this, the more and more I fall in love with it more. And yeah, hopefully you guys give this a look and enjoy it as much as I fucking did. And one more time, just in case you missed it, here is that gruesome download code for Dimensions of Horror. But uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. <laughs>